You may have seen that Google changed its algorithm this year. You may also know that long form content is now a key ingredient to get on Google's first page for your specific keywords. I'm now using articles that are 1800 words and or more. So how do you get ChatGPT to write that much content in a cohesive way? In this video, I'll be sharing several great AI tools, including ChatGPT's code interpreter, perplexity.ai for research, a plugin called SEO Core AI for keywords, and Answer Socrates for identifying top questions asked on Google. In other videos, I've talked about telling chat how to write the content in multiple parts. It writes 400 plus words, then it pauses, waits for your cue, once you tell it to, it finishes the remaining section of another 400 words. I've only gotten this to work for about 900 word articles though. What if you want to write 2000 words and you want the content to be good and cohesive and search engine optimized? Hang with me for a few minutes and I'll show you how. Okay, quick note. Typically I would use priming to create this blog, but that approach would make this video much too long. So we're just going to limit it to a craft method and we'll take it from there. I have other videos on craft, but a quick review of how we get ChatGPT to write excellent content for us every time is context, role, action, format, and target. Now there are several really important tricks in the action section of this craft prompt, so hang on for a few seconds while we walk through context and role, and then we'll get to the action section. So let's head into context. You've seen this before. In context, we tell ChatGPT about the world we needed to focus on. In this case, it's a hands-free massage gun mount called Solo Mount. Once the Solo Mount product is described, I'm telling ChatGPT my general goals for the longer article. Role. As always, you'll want to provide the functional capacity that you'd like Chat to embody for the article, as well as ChatGPT's designated domain area of expertise. Then, you'll tell it that you want the content to be unique with this sentence that I'll also include in the video description. Finally, I tell it to use an informative tone of voice and a persuasive writing style. Action. So now we get to the important part for long form blogs. In this section, you'll write, I will give you a topic for an article. Based on the context and the role, I want you to create an outline for the topic with sectional headings and subheadings. All right, so let's pause here for an important question. How do we come up with the best possible topic? I like to go to answersocrates.com. It's totally free. I'm totally unaffiliated with it. Then I input some of my keywords, massage gun mounts, into the topic area here. Just so you know, answersocrates.com recommends using just a few keywords in the topic field to get better results. And check out the output. This is super cool. And again, it's free. So now we've got all this information. What are we going to do with it? I go up here. So I download the CSV file and then I review the raw data. And here you can see the questions and the comparisons data that it generates. And actually occasionally there's extra data at the bottom of the spreadsheet that I'll just remove. Okay. So next we move back to a new chat in ChatGPT. This time we're going to turn on ChatGPT4 with code interpreter checked. Then here you can see I've added the CSV file from answersocrates.com. Next, of course, I use a craft prompt to ask ChatGPT to analyze my file and I include the usual ingredients. In this case, I tell it to analyze the attached CSV file and provide a list of the best questions I should answer with my blog. Then in the format section, I ask for an ordered list where the first item is the top suggestion. Let's see what we get for output here. And it looks like we've got some solid options for an article topic and a question that the article should answer. I think I'm going to go with a third option. Are massage guns good? Kind of a basic question. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to add a bit more to it and end the sentence with are massage guns good for back muscles. All right. I like that. So how do we find the best keywords for our blog? Let's jump back into yet another chat and turn on GPT-4 again. This time I'll use a plugin called SEO Core AI. It's a newer tool for me, but I've had some success with it, so let's try it out. So for the sake of brevity, I'm just gonna paste my craft prompt into the dialog box here. And if you scroll down, you can see in the action section, I've asked SEO Core AI to analyze my website, solomount.com, and then I reference a topic that I collected from Answer Socrates. Then in the format section, We've asked ChatGPT to provide keyword phrases. Note with this tool, it's really important to say keyword phrases because otherwise it'll just provide you with single words like the or massage, which isn't helpful. 
So use keyword phrases. All right, so check out these results. Great job, love it. Question, why do we need to go through all these steps for a long form blog? The answer, simply put, is if you want your article to help you rank on Google, it needs to be done well, and these are just the ingredients. All right, what's the last ingredient? It's an external article reference. But how are we gonna find the relevant and supportive article that we can link to and reference? Let's head over to perplexity.ai. So yet again here, I've done sort of an abbreviated craft prompt in perplexity.ai. Do I need to write all this out every single time? Maybe, but I feel like I get better results that are more aligned with my context and my objectives. So I just use craft every time. For the format in the Perplexity AI prompt, I ask for the most relevant article as well as a summary of that article. So let's check the link. And it looks like it's a nice article from UCLA Health from 2022. Um, just on checking, this is definitely gonna work for our purposes. So after running through the article, we'll grab the summary so we can reference that later. So now that we've got all of our inputs, let's go back to our original prompt to start making our long form blog. We're still in the action section of our long form blog prompt. Now I can input the blog article title, then I'll include the questions the blog should answer. If you'd like to include the keywords from the SEO core AI search, this is also where you'd insert them. Finally, we'll tell chat that we don't want the article to read like an advertisement for sole amount because it sometimes has a tendency to do that. Then in the format section, this is super important. We say, for the format of this outline, please write a summary sentence for the sectional headings and subheadings of the outline. We need the summary sentence in each section because it gives ChatGPT the necessary thread of information to keep the long form content consistent. Then we say, create the outline first. Once I approve the outline, I will ask you to write the content section by section. Notice that we didn't ask it to write in Markdown because here, we're just creating an outline. The formatting isn't really that important. Lastly, the target audience is the typical persona that I use for this particular product, so we don't need to spend any time reviewing that. And let's look at the results. We get a really nice outline of a long form article with summary sentences for each section. Perfect. I like this outline so we can move forward. If you don't like the outline at this point, simply ask chat to make changes to specific sections or just to rewrite it entirely. That's the nice thing about this approach is that you have the opportunity to make changes before it starts writing content for you. Now that we've reviewed the outline, let's ask chat to write us long form content with specifications as we go. Here we tell chat to write the introduction section, based on the variables we've entered previously. Then we can tell it the number of words we wanna write for this section. And because it's an introduction, I only need about 300 words here. Okay, let's check out what it produces. And it looks good. Once we've got the introduction section, let's move to the next one. Here we say, please continue this article by writing 450 plus words for section two, the science behind massage guns. Actually, this looks like the perfect section to include the reference to the external article that we found earlier. So I paste the actual link from perplexity.ai. Then I paste the article summary as well. And I do this because it's much easier for ChatGPT to incorporate the correct language about the article if it already has a summary. Lastly, I ask it to please continue writing in markdown format with headers and subheaders. And look at that. Very nice job. And... There's the link with a quick statement about the article based on the summary we've provided. Very cool. You'll notice the markdown format also continues to be utilized here, which will really simplify the copy paste exercise at the end when we drop this into our Shopify blog. In the next section, I ask for 400 plus words as well as some bullet points just to give the article some visual variety. And really one of the main reasons I like using the sectional approach is that I can control the look and feel of the writing by inserting these types of formatting and content variations in the sections that I specify. Okay, so that stuff looks great there. So now for the fourth section, we can see more of the same approach. In this portion, I ask for 500 plus words because it's the most important section of the article. Keep in mind that 500 words is about the maximum that you can actually get ChatGPT to write. You can ask for more words, but it typically can't write that many more words. Then finally, in the conclusion section, I request a quote based on the article that we found previously, just to round it out. Finally, at the end, I've asked chat to count all the words from each section of the article 
for some reason it references link reader, I'm not really sure why, and then it provides the section by section count with the total word count of 1979. Perfect. The next thing we'll do is copy paste this text straight from the output dialog to my Shopify blog. There is actually a specific way to do this, but I'm gonna share that in a separate video because it's a whole nother thing. So for now, here are the key takeaways. Number one, collect all of your key ingredients first by leveraging the right AI tools. Keywords, questions to answer, topic, reference articles, quotes, whatever. I shared a few of the tools, but there are literally hundreds more that are super valuable. Number two, write a solid craft prompt to get an outline developed and tell chat you're gonna ask it to write content section by section. Number three, once you like your outline, stay in the same chat conversation to create the content for your blog. You've already primed ChatGPT with the necessary information, so you really don't need to start over. Take advantage of the work you've already done. Number four, have chat write each section according to the word count and format you want. That way you can control the look and feel of the blog, as well as control the sections in which ChatGPT puts the most emphasis. As always, I dropped as much information as possible into the video description, and everything else can be found on my website for free and without requiring an email. You'll find the link below. I also answer all the comments in the videos, so please don't be shy. Feel free to ask me any questions. Thanks again for joining, and we'll see you next time.